Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in the Great War Redux mod, playing as the Kingdom of Italy. So this is the peace conference deal that, well, I kind of made up because there was no peace conference deal. Nothing ever changed. It's now January 7th, 1920. Um, well, I did take over Switzerland manually myself with no help, so they're part of us now. Uh, yeah, I had to do the peace deal myself. Well, maybe not the brest litovsk Treaty, but things like in the Balkans... The Ottoman Empire, it, it, Italy, yeah, I took over a lot for Italy, so let's talk about it. So, as you can see, I decided to take pretty much all of very southern France, except for Bordeaux. I figured, you know what, I want to go to war with Spain, make it a quasi-Roman Empire, have a good time down here, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to do that. Let's see, let's go ahead and boost these areas up first, uh, you can do that one as well. Uh, let's see, Germany, let's see, actually France, did I... They were, the French were in a civil war between the Commune and the French state, apparently the French state won. Uh, the Irish Republic broke free, we have the Union of Britain here. Let's see, yeah, led, led by Louis here. Germany obviously kept Alsace-Lorraine and even took Vosges. And I made sure that Germany also took Wallonie and Luxembourg and Eupen. Well, Belgium is now a German puppet. Is the Dutch are still the same? Uh, I did take Corsica because I don't know why I wouldn't. I still have, I do have naval invasion set up to invade Spain, which would be, good, which would be nice. Um, actually, yeah, we still have Greece here. I took the islands here, and the Ottoman Empire got these little islands over here. Greece has become a puppet of Germany, even though they probably should have been a puppet of mine, but whatever. I made Bulgaria out nice and thick. They got a little part of Serbian territory, they got some Greek territory, they took the Romanian territory. I made Romania completely just three states now because that's what they deserve for being against us in the Great War. Albania still exists. Yeah, Albania still exists. Apparently there's the United Baltic Duchy. Cool. Lithuania, Soviet, Belarus, or whatever. And we gave, because because Ukraine is a puppet of Germany, I gave them Bessarabia, as well as Southern Bessarabia. Cool. Um, I didn't really change too much about this. I made the Ottoman Empire become greater. So they were at war with Afghanistan, so basically, with a peace deal, with the Entente capitulating, I had to force them to capitulate using consul commands. I made them take over Persia. I made them annex their little Jabal Shamar state, which isn't worth that much. I made them court, just so it looks nice. And then they were at war with Afghanistan, so I figured, you know what? We took out the Raj, so I gave the Raj to Germany. Pretty much all of it to Germany. And I had the Ottomans basically take over what we know now as Pakistan. I think I think this is mostly just Pakistan. Um, so yeah, they definitely expanded. The Germans were still over here. This looks really nice. I took over all of North Africa, as you can tell. And I have... I might have just... I decided to annex Somalia land just, just because it just looks nicer. And I can actually reach around this entire area now. So that's kind of nice. I gave Germany pretty much Central Africa and Southern Africa because I don't really care for that. Uh, actually, this one... Um, yeah. That, we could give that to the Germans, but... Whatever. I think that just fits better for Italy. They can have that big old island down there, because they already have all this. Uh, the Ottomans. What else? I did take Vietnam, as someone recommended. So I did that. China's a mess. On weak clique, looking pretty good, though. I gave Germany, Australia. Actually, I had to force them to annex them, so that's going to be like... This looks really bad, to be honest with you. Uh, the French get no colonies, because they don't deserve any. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, that's not too bad. America still owns the Philippines. So it is what it is. I think we did pretty well. I might have taken too much. Might not have taken enough. Doesn't really matter. Also gave Cyprus to the Ottoman Empire. Anything else? Romania has been left to a rump state. Ireland's there. Canada has been freed from German control. Because I figured, you know what? With the U.S. and Canada there, they didn't really lose that many soldiers. And they'd be kind of like the last bastion of the Entente. So I just kind of left them there. Germany owns this territory here as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going to mess with that. Peru looks really ugly. Just saying. If you're Peruvian, I'm sorry. But that just looks really bad. As well as Uruguay or Paraguay. Yeah, Paraguay's right here. That looks really bad. But regardless, whatever. Let's do a focus. So I did a mutilated victory. That's what it is. Mutilated victory. And we could go socialist. But I don't think we'd really go socialist if we won the war after, you know, we fought for that long and hard. But let's go fascisto movement. Cool. Proto-fascism. Um, that being said, there's a couple comments such as, like, not understanding the peace deal. There was no peace deal with this time around. I don't know if there ever really is, but there was no peace deal. It is what it is, you know. I don't know why people kept fighting. They literally kept fighting. They just basically, once we peaced out, it was World War One all over again. 
So that's why I had to use console commands for that, which really, really, really sucked. Um, this might actually get us into another World War 1.2. Oh, wait. Germany. What? You want Equatorial Guinea. Um, okay, you can have that. I mean, I'll take the rest of Italy. Or not Italy. I am Italy. Take the rest of this. Take the rest of that. Yeah, I don't mind that. But yeah. Uh, peace deals didn't work out so well. That's why I used the state transfer tool mod. That's why I used console commands to make sure that we get what we deserve. That's why. Uh, following that, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the comments. There wasn't a huge amount, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I was wondering what they were doing. Yeah, this place is really kind of ugly. Let's see, Regency Council, German Colonial Elite. Right before I started re-recording this, we just finished our influenza pandemic thingy. Whatever that was. Like, it'd lower your weekly stability and war support, so... Luckily, we already have gotten that taken care of. No problem. No worries. Cool. And we're trying to develop a vaccine. Cool. Got a couple extra... Oh, and we do have tanks. Do we have three tanks? We have three tanks. And these guys are only 20 combat with 6.8 armor. Not much. Not much at all. But it is what it is. Actually, we might just make them even bigger then. We have the... We definitely have the army XP for it, but that's okay. Good, good, good. Nice. Cool. Yeah, why would we turn socialist? I mean, then again, why would we turn fascist if we won the Civil War? That doesn't really seem to compute. But regardless, cult or blackshirt veterans? Oh, civilian economy? No thank yous. Cult of Duce. Yeah. Actually, what's what's down the smoke street? Ooh, oh yeah, that's the next uh, tank. That'd be nice. It is 1920. Uh, better artillery? Sure, why not? Are we making tanks? Yes, we are up here. Good. We need a lot of tanks. Holy cow. And we need more steel, like always. Always need more steel. Mexico? Thank you for steel. And we need more steel, so we'll get some more steel. One way or another. French state, I don't care for them. Germany, we were great allies in the war. Great enough. Uh, so we'll do that. Good. Good. Hopefully Spain isn't too tough. They probably will be. Um, I don't mind fighting them, especially with the Germans helping us out. But yeah. I guess technically they fell to fascism, which makes sense, I guess, to a degree, because of uh, them falling. They're like the Italy, Italy of this timeline. So it's a little bit, you know, more population every month. Not really much else. It just took a while for us to get to this point here. We got about a few months left before we can go to war. Those guys, all we're lacking right now is some heavy tanks. We got plenty of guns. That'll be good. Logistics 3. Question Spanish sovereignty? Of course we will question Spanish sovereignty. 1920? 1920? Good, good, good. Motorized not looking too bad. Artillery's not looking great, but it's still not too bad. Don't do that too. Uh, do that to 10 for now, because we could share some more stuff. I definitely need more steel to make more light cruisers. Don't do that. Might as well finish all this stuff up. We got four spies, which is very nice. Languedoc, Languedoc. No idea how to pronounce it, but I do have a cup of mango Maui black tea here. Hey, the UK is declared one. No, oh my, that's a tiny UK. David Lloyd George, um, British stoicism, English staff, widespread strikes. Yeah, I don't think they last that long. Yeah. Uh, oh, they you, you that one as well. Well, they went communists, and these guys went fascist. It's definitely post. World War One, And Germany, of course, has gone down the Kaiserreich path with abolish the dictatorships. Huh. There'd be no point for us to get this stuff right now anymore. There's really no point to do that. Preparation time. You know what? We could, we could use less preparation time. That's kind of nice. Let's get this one first. Actually, what is their path? I don't think I've played it down that path. Maybe I have. I don't remember. Yeah, I think I have, maybe. Maybe. No, 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 no. Maybe not. Maybe I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, I think I have. Cool. General staff. Well, they removed general staff. Quenched militarism. That looks really bad. Holy cow. Economic liberalization. Two Kaisers. Representative reform. Long list secret Germany. Huh. Cult. Very good. Well, it's not good to have a cult, but we have enough political power to get rid of this. Black shirt veterans. Ooh. That don't look very bueno. Not gonna lie. What's wrong with Spain? Irrigation techniques. 114,000 manpower. 24 to 38 divisions. Not... Terrible, but not really that great either. Invisible ink. Thank you. 
Eh, let's grab that. Better artillery is always better. Yeah, fighting through these mount mountains here are going to really suck. You guys are poised in Gibraltar. Hopefully you guys can do well there. Hopefully. You guys are over here ready to take these guys out, which would be nice. You guys are poised to invade the islands. And then you guys are poised to win right there. Tank-wise, I don't want to really hurt these guys too much. If I put them over here, supply will probably get really, really bad. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to wait. We'll probably try another naval invasion through here. Once this is done and completed. So there's that. Uh, we have just enough. for Well, we won't have just enough now. To help garrison all this stuff. And I did take the Suez. Which is very nice. Very, very nice. I love the Suez. Go and garrison this stuff. Yeah, we made the Mediterranean very nice for us. Physical ink, diplomatic training. Good, keep building stuff up. Roads, roads, roads. We can go to war right now. And before we do that, black shirts march on Rome. More than 30% support for the fascist movement. Okay. Mm, that tea's not bad. Friendship with Greece. No, that's not going to happen, probably. Battle for grain. Huh. Powerful media. Oh, mafia. Mafia. Yeah, we got to wait to become more fascist. All right, so be it. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Called in our allies, which is good. Uh, where are my ships? We might not be able to fight the, the Pyrenees, but we'll see what happens. Down here, we might be able to do well, maybe. Good, you guys got over there very quickly. Romania's in the war, because I think they're a puppet of Austria-Hungary right now. Good, we cut them off, kind of, sort of. Now the Baltic Duchy, we're good. Doesn't look like we were able to get into here yet. But what if we did that? You should be able to break that way. Lithuania's called in. Everyone fighting against Spain. Everyone, love it. Wow, they've already taken a ton of losses. Holy cow. Pietro? Pietro. Nice. Beautiful. You guys come from the south. That'd be good. U7 did a great job over here already. Come up north. They already took that down there. We do want to go to war, war with Abyssinia eventually, so... Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure who else to go to war with. Maybe Belarus. Maybe we'll go to war with Belarus. There we go. I'll send you guys up against Belarus. Oh, you guys didn't go yet. Oh, yeah, there you go. Have a good time. We gotta make sure that this is not gonna be communistic. We gotta make sure all of Eastern Europe is under us, or at least, the very least, not communist. Very good, very good. You three. Yeah, I'm just gonna have these tanks hang out. Alright, black shirt veterans. Oh, cool. Yes, yes, yes. And there's nothing else we can do for a focus now. Hmm. Diplomatic training, very cool. Some more stability. Political power gain, I like that. Can we get more a little more fascist or proto-fascist influence right now? I think that'd be very useful. Just because this expires in 20 seconds. We need we want to go down the next couple of things of our focus tree, but it doesn't look like we really can. Partial mobilization at the very least. Another horse. Good. Come over here. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. I'm thinking we're really doing at least okay. Cool. Just throw yourselves onto here. Help out to the north. We're doing a great job. We need to get a few more resources that way. Good. We have enough steel, finally. Any more ships? Nope. Good. We're doing a pretty awesome job. We'll probably take all of mainland Spain and divide up the colonies once we're done with that. Good. Good, good. Hey, we've got, we've linked up. Great. Any co convoys? No? Okay, okay, whatever. We're only... Actually, that's pretty, not bad. 23% fascist already? That's not too bad. Hmm. Gotta love to you. Not cut these guys off. Well, there's no one up there, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, oh, oh, the cipher's done. Well, you might as well use it since we have it. Uh, casualties. 15,000 versus third of a million. Cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. So, I'm going to give to the Germans the one spot that they really, really wanted. Cool. 
I'll probably take everything else on this or something here. I don't think so, so. Under the uh, administration of the Italian government, thank you. Thank you. And over here, we'll just pull ours here. Cancel Lenly, so. Yeah, since we're here, right? Since we're here, we better have a good time with these folks as well. Alright, so you guys are okay. They canceled Lindley's, whatever. Well, again, we need artillery. Gain more manpower, gain a few more guns. Soviet Belarus, eventually. Cool. Mm hmm. Actually, we want to go to war with these guys, but maybe first these guys. Yeah, let's do this. These guys first. There you go. How much longer must we wait for Belarus? I will give all of this. I'll make Belarus a puppet of Germany, too. That would be nice. Reign of Terror. Well, that sounds fun for some people. Maybe not for everyone. That's okay. Develop the vaccine. Well, we're already done with the influenza stuff, so don't really need it. Suicide pills. Psychological warfare. Very good. Uh, wow, that's a lot of guns. Need a lot more tanks, though. Maybe black bomb, maybe, maybe no. I don't want to hurt my steel production of this stuff down here. Bring that up. Bring it up. Really focus on the chips. Cool. Go like that. There we go. Five. And make it. There you go. 35. That seems pretty good. And over here. Thank you. Take that off. And go heal. He is a level... Five general, not really, or admiral. I mean, hasn't really done too much else. That's okay though. Game of it is looking pretty nice. I could go to war technically, I guess, against the central powers. But at this point, there's really no point for Italy to attack Austria, Hungary, pretty much everyone in the central powers. That doesn't seem like a lot of fun. Oh, these guys are independent too. We might kill these guys off just because we can. Oh, that's pretty much it. We need. What is this? Why, why can we do this? Huh. Oh well. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's we'll do that stuff too. Better artillery is always nice. Always nice to have. Alright. Man, that's a thick Ukraine, not gonna lie. That's pretty thick. Oh, population supports government authority. Okay, that's cool. But. We're only 26% of the way there. There's no way we can march on Rome any faster. And that's not possible. So then we, we literally become fascist. Huh. That seems kind of weird. Like, we we won the war. I mean, technically, technically, I guess, in real life, too. Italy did win World War One. So, okay, well, whatever. Uh, cool. Help them out. These guys are not going to be that strong. And after this, we'll go to Portugal, and I'll annex Portugal because we can. Cool, cool, cool. Garrisons. That's nice. That's good stuff. Civilian oversight. Keep it like on that. This is for Spain. Helping us in Spain a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. They're not that strong, so. Engineer Company 3s. Good. There you go. Uh, I might should I should have released him or made Jeremy release him as a puppet, but whatever. Maybe they will. Direct rule from Berlin. Long live sacred Germany. So they went with representative reform. Okay. Got more stability. That's kind of nice. Having stability is always kind of nice. Uh, next up, do we do that one in time? Probably not. <laughs> Anger by Portuguese posturing. Another horse uh, division. Cool. If you guys need it all trained until you're done, that's fine with me. You guys do the exact same thing. Do we have any extra planes around here? Maybe. A couple extra early fighters, that's fine. We can trade them out eventually. Hey, excavation, nice. Good stuff. Some more output, perhaps. Ooh, 
Ooh, another tank. Good. Level. That's. Oh, actually, you know what? I really want to use these tanks against someone. We made them. We might as well use them, right? Cool. I mean, they're not looking great. I mean, this one's looking pretty awesome. These guys, they are <laughs> 2.8 art armor. That's really bad. But this is 17.2. That's not too bad. How's Bulgaria doing? Looking pretty nice. I do want to play as Bulgaria sometime. Balkan Prussian. Okay, the UK's back. Uh, probably yeah, it looks like the exact same place. Grain exports, militarism, Bulgarian economy, National Assembly. Cool. But, uh, the Navy's not. Yeah, it's only the army. Those tanks cost a lot. And there goes the UK. Again. You think it happens once? You they put extra police there to put them down. Oh, look at that. Nice. Now we can do this. Happy 1921, my friends. March on Rome. Cool. Let's see what happens. And once we're done with March on Rome, we'll probably do this, this, colonial expansion, because I do want to get to Ethiopia. Because we have war with Ethiopia down here, which would be nice. Uh, Italian nationalism, ba battle for grain, fight against mafia, which would be good, and drain Pontic marshes. Does France have any sort of thing that they can do after their their war? No, no this is, they reset their tree, holy cow. Actually, no, I really don't care about research right now. Uh, I'm trying to move this along as fast as possible, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab that. Cool. So a ton of political power. Holy cow. Now let's do that. Tonkin Bauxic Deposits. Sure. Create a section from each of these places. Um, I guess we could. I mean, it's completely useless for us. That's okay. Why not? Belgium, why not? Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Still got plenty of factories going on anyways. Mexican Federation. Well, at least they're stable for now. Mexico has always been kind of a hotbed in this mod for lots of uh, violence. Yeah, violence. It looks like Soviet Russia is slowly winning against Kolchak, too. So, Feng Chin government. The Red Movement. Everyone's doing pretty well. They do have the Crimea as independent under Jan. Oh, I'm going to need more of this. You guys are eating up a ton of fuel. You know what? Stop training for now. Landing barge. Cool. Construction speed. Cool. Even better. Cool. We have marched on Rome. Cult declaring a lot of things for ourselves. We're gonna get some Italian nationalism. That'll be nice. The Macho. Oh, that's in color too. Look at that guy. Hey, smoking isn't cool, kids. Sometimes, even though it might be. A new duce for Italy. Huh. 30,000 men along with those guys march on Rome with mild support from the population. Hearing civil war in Italy has acceded to his demands. Uh, President. Presidente del Consiglio. Or Prime Minister. That's cool. All you gotta do is show up with 30,000 guys and you can take over the country. Easy, right? Easy. I don't recommend trying that in real life, but hey, you never know. Regardless of where you're at. Uh, and with Victor Emmanuel setting up a potential World War II scenario. Soldier King, huh? Yep, yep. Luigi Cadorna, in this timeline. Very good general. Well, relatively good. He always makes he makes a few mistakes, but don't, don't some of us. We all make some mistakes. Cool. Especially when I justify against Portugal and it takes 240 days. But we got a week left. A whole week left, my friends. Threats of receptivity. And... Not yet. Not yet. And there we go. Oh, yeah. You should probably go right on in. Get the tanks involved, even though they're looking extremely weak. Uh, after that... I'm thinking the Dutch. Oh, wait, no. They're getting hit by the Germans. Um... Faction map mode. Sweden. De How about Denmark? Do that. Jalen. Looking pretty good so far. Man, you, the land doctrine that we went down is pretty good. Especially, at least at the very le late version of this. Grand battle plan isn't too bad when you get down here. Plus 25% breakthrough is very nice. This is very, very nice. Yeah, I could use more steel too. Uh, look at that. Lisbon, thank you. Yeah, these tanks, Jesus Christ, you look incredibly weak. 
Thank you. I'll just take everything you have. Alright, so let's divide this up. That looks really good. This looks really good as well. Holy cow, I'm loving this. And this isn't even McDonald's. I want the Soviets to win, and then we can beat them up. Okay, third time is the charm, okay? Alright, cool. Especially as we're waiting to go to war with Ethiopia, really. That's the main goal here. Create the Indian section, sure. It's fine, whatever. Italian nationalism, very cool. Let's do Tribunal Special. Third time in a row, you know, you can't leave it up to the Union of Britain to put down rebels, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Some better reinforce rate. Well, at this point, I think we've made sort of a good chunk of the Mediterranean into a an Italian lake, as some might call it. Because what was known as Spain and Portugal, well, they don't really exist anymore. Sure, they got Greece and the Ottoman state and Austria-Hungary here, but if this was EU4, we would have a lot of trade power around here. Woo! We would have a lot. But this looks so sad. This looks so sad. I mean, look at that. 2.5 armor. Oh. 15 armor. That's nice. That's nice stuff. 2.4 armor. Yeah, that's sad, man. That's really sad. I wonder if we just use cavalry. Can they... Can the cavalry just kill off all the enemy Danes? Maybe? Maybe not? Eh, it's not that long. We got 100 days. Actually, this goes by pretty quickly once everyone's defeated. Come on, keep beating up the the whites. Oh, they even made it down here. Nice. No, this is not. This is not the whites. This is a Moor Republic, led by Alexander Krasnokiev. Good. Very nice. Very good. Ah, we're almost done building stuff up. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, throw in two more because I like civilian factories a lot. Twenty days left. Construction five coming along. Woo! Almost done there. How strong is Ethiopia? Because I will take them out when we're done with this. Uh, Italy. That looks really weird. Mm. Yeah, it, that is a little weird. I could give it to Germany in exchange for some other colonies. So, so we'll take this Singal. Oh, we do own that, so that makes more sense. We'll take this as well. Gambia. In exchange for this massive state of Angola. There you go. That looks a little nicer. Yeah, there you guys are pretty good. Uh, do we have any other planes as well? I'll take that off now. Germany's got quite a few planes. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, can I please do that? Thank you. Make sure that the horses got them. Construction 5. More fuel is incredibly important. And let us do Colonial X. Expansionism. Nice. Get a claim on Ethiopia. Oh, awesome. That's the case. Send everyone down to Ethiopia. Hopefully this doesn't go doesn't go poorly for us. There you go. Very nice, very nice. Any other planes around here? Put them on the tanks just in case. Put them on the horses just in case as well. Am I making anything other than... No, I'm just making fighters, huh? Never researched anything else. Just in case then, I'll throw you guys up here too then. It's fine. You might need it. You might not. You're probably going to need it. Mm, region wide, cool. Well, Mr. Benito, hello. Less daily communism for... Why is that red? That's always a good thing, right? We're gonna be sure. Even better. Oh yeah, build up them roads. Oh yeah, Ethiopia does not look very strong, which is good. Iyasu the fifth, very cool. We're doing this a couple fifteen years early than normal, but okay, 14, 15 years. We should be able to go to war with these guys very, 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 very soon. Yeah. Two weeks. Advance the radio. Cool. Get some of that. Grab some of this. 
Also, we can build this, can't we? Oh my gosh. I know the game's still struggling with that. That's okay, whatever. Get some of the stuff. That'd be very nice. There you go. There you go. Come on. And we are only out 1600. Nice, not bad. Plenty of artillery, plenty of other things that we need. Cool. There we go. And let's see. You guys are okay. Can they pierce the tanks? Oh, I didn't tell the tanks could go. I wonder we don't see them. Hopefully they can't. They might be able to, though. Um, doesn't look like they can. Oh, they can pierce. They can pierce. So even using the tanks right now, kind of a waste. Cool. Next focus. War with Ethiopia. Cool. We already have a claim on their lands, but you know what? Getting a war, you know, war goal on them immediately. Not too bad. Or, anyways. Go ahead, guys. Hope we're going to die. Can you pierce the tanks? Yeah, they're not even fighting. Cool. Nice. Um, this looks very weird over here like this, but that's okay. Ah, there you go. Good. I could give this to Germany. I could make this green. Hmm. Maybe. That'd be w really weird if I did take it. I did give them Bilar, so. They're not really helping me that much. They're helping me a little bit. Yeah, you know, I could give it to them. Then maybe it will take Sweden as a puppet, maybe. They're really dug in. I'll tell you what, they're really dug in. Ah, Beretta. I love Beretta. Cool. We'll give it to Germany because we can. Happy birthday, Germany. Now that's nice. That's how it should really be, right? Yeah, tanks. Really not great. But they can still naval invade, right? They can still do a little naval invasion. And hopefully not be too bad. Details. Very good. Very good. Oil processing. Very nice. Let's grab this next. And then shipwise. Six. Oh la la. Very good. This still isn't proper screening, but we'll do it like this. There you go. It's almost there. I'm getting there. Do that. Really, we'll take you guys off. Uh, because I'm sending you guys over to here, the Straits. Do that cla tank classifications. Do that as well. And then do that as well. Very good. Can we go to war with the Swedes? Probably. 160 days, of course, like normal. We're going to have a war goal very, very soon against these guys, in which we should honestly probably do hopefully okay. What are you guys up to? Doing nothing, huh? Hmm. Well. Cool. War with Ethiopia. Next up, we should do Battle for Grain. Yes. Happy 1922, my friends. Let us have a good time right now. Together. Together for victory. Oh. The Russian Civil War has ended as well. Uncertain times. Very good. Now, so far, it seems like, yep, we are winning. This is going a lot more smoothly than probably what happened in our timeline between Italy and and Ethiopia. Of course, it does help if you attack 14 years, 13 years early, but, you know, just a matter of time. And there is Soviet Russia. Ah, uh, Vladimir Lenin. Uh, river processing, very good. Ah, uh, more fuel gain, that's always nice to get. Yeah. Very cool, Sweden. Oh, the German Empire owns Newfoundland, Iceland as well. Uh, I kind of wish we could go to war with the Soviets now. I mean, it's, it's, it's best to take them out when you can. It's really, it really is best when you can take them out. Azerbaijan is free. Baku. Ah, oh, Caucasus. Ah, oh, there's a slight famine down there. Whatever. Cool. So, now we're going to move you guys up. Maybe we can take them out. Maybe we can't. I don't know. I do want to take out these guys, though. How long would it take for us to go to war with these guys? Oh, that's not bad. 185. Maybe we can go to war with Sweden first. I can't imagine Sweden... Yeah, they're not that strong. 3 to 17 divisions. Hopefully we'll be able to do okay. Let's see. You guys over here. Italian nationalism is gone. 
Uh, what did that do? Did it give us... No, we still have this one. That's still good. Advanced generators. Very cool. Interbellum uh, air research stops. Any other fighters? Yes. Hmm, throw you right there. Cool. You don't know how to target people on the ground, but we can do pretty well at targeting people in the air. Good, good. We battle for grain. Let us now do drain pontic marshes. More infrastructure. And what's this one? Fight against, yeah, mafia. We do not have the effects of powerful mafia. No, we do not. We do that. Recruitment Asia, recruitment stations all over the world. Another tank, which is looking okay ish. Nice, nice, nice. And probably won't take that much longer. Uh, a few more days. A few more weeks. Just a few more weeks, that's all. Cool. And are we still becoming more and more fascist? I guess we are, technically. Well, I guess not. Uh, sure. Institute press censorship. I love censorship. Why not? Censorship can never be bad, right? Would never be bad. Let's get some stuff from the Ottoman state. Well, I mean, warning against Soviet communism, that's always a good thing to warn against. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Fuel up. Fuel up, kiddies. We need more, though. Mm, Netherlands, Azerbaijan, yes. There you go. Nice and green, the way we like it. All right, another horse. Good. Questions and motives. Ottoman state, very cool. China, which... I, I don't know the, the history of China between the two world wars. I barely know it during the war, but I know a little bit of it. But, uh, yeah, I know they had a lot of warlords, and this looks very warlord-like. I would not want to live there. Hmm. Oh, I've never got more max factories in the state. What have, I, what have I been doing this dark campaign? Oh, my goodness. British Somalia land? Yeah, I don't think so. Anything else here? Region-wide? Yep. That's what we love. Uh, do that one, because you're closer to it. Calabria. Very good. Spain was easy. Portugal was easy. A pretty light, easy episode. Drain Pontic Moshes. Very good. And that it for now. I guess that's it for the focus tree. We are done. Everything's been completed. Not bad. Not bad. I wish there was another path besides after the war where you could play as, like, maybe democratic or uh, monarch Italy. Like, really focus on the monarch as, you know, your leader. But, you know, whatever. That's okay. Hey, there we go. Let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. on we can't really win there that's fine until we invade cool let's see what happens if we don't win against the soviets later on in this episode that's totally fine break across this way one of you guys break across over here very cool 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 and they have been cut off beautiful yep they can't do anything when they're attacking the butt good look at that Absolutely beautiful. I guess about this. Whee! Go ahead. Nice. We could give this a Germany. Oh, we overran a division. Nice. Very nice. We can't see where we're at, though. How strong are these guys? I mean, we might just leave it in the middle of a conflict between us two, because I'm sure the Russians, the Soviets, have a, quite a few divisions, quite a bit of manpower. We definitely need more fuel, but whatever. Good. 1200s needed. Fine, whatever. Machine tools. Very cool. Go and grab that. We could use that. More fuel, more rubber is always good to get. Right, not bad, not bad. Let's strip for Stockholm. Nice. How many more days do we have to wait for this? Oh boy, and the UK again, of course. Ah, 40 days, that's not bad. That's pretty quick. If that's a case, maybe grab just a tiny bit more fuel. Thank you. The UK's gone again. A little bit more fuel. Good trade with the German Empire, that actually would make more sense. But that's okay. Even more fuel. And there goes Sweden. Now, I'm going to take Sweden for myself. Now that looks really bad being up there. I should have just kept it the way it was earlier, but whatever. Um, hmm. So 
go like that. Really want to focus on the area down here, the underbelly. Cool. Uh, ship wise, do that. Come up here. There you go. Support weapons, nice. Good. I wonder how strong these guys are going to be. Uh, they don't look that strong. At least these three don't. Yeah. They do have a little bit of artillery on some of these divisions. And some inf some engineers. And we click good. Kill each other off, China. Very good. Well, they don't look exceedingly weak. Hmm. But, you know what? You never know. The white movement is left down there. Cool. Let's see what happens. We might just leave this at peace. Or in the middle of a conflict. But, but as you... If you might not be able to tell, I'm going to make sure that this is actually the final episode of this campaign, as you can tell by the finale uh, uh, title. <laughs> so, you, oh crap, yeah, this is definitely going to be the last one. Now I'm not going to deal with the Union of Britain. Uh, can you guys help out at all? Cool, I mean, we're winning a little bit in some places. Supply is obviously not super great everywhere, but whatever. More horses, cool. How many people actually are in the Union of Britain? Get the Yanks in yeah, I'm not really sure the Yanks would want to help you, man. Especially if you're Kami. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Invites the United States to be in something. An Arab nation. Alright, well, whatever. Are we... Eh, it looks like there's a lot of green, though. That's good. I like the green. Lots of green is always nice. Uh, I wish we could see how many casualties we've taken, but we'll probably have to raise conscription one more level. Oh, you know what? Do it. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's a necessary evil. Boom, boom, boom. More fuel, more rubber. Very good. Oh, if you guys could help, actually help out right here, that'd be really good as well. Oh, or just encircle all this, this entire group. Makes sense to me. Since we're here, uh, I only use this for intelligence. You guys do that. Um, they rebelled. Yeah, the, the Great War Redux mod, it's not perfect yet. It, it still has a few issues, as you can tell. Um, it's not bad, but it just has a few issues. Uh, I'm going to decline for now. I, I don't really want to get involved. I'd rather just see, like, what's going on. World Revolution, of course, they would want a World Revolution. They've up at least 91 divisions. That's not too bad. Especially if we're winning. Yeah, we've definitely pushed into their territory, which is good. Good. And then good. Very nice. Can we win any more? Any upgrades? No, not really. Not too much. War propaganda? Sure. War propaganda is always nice. Region-wide stuff? Cool. Cool. Oh, Sevastopol. Capitulate the Crimean government. That'd be nice. Actually, they all have this as cores. Oh, that sucks. They do. That really sucks. Well, we definitely expanded as Italy. That's kind of nice. It's always nice to expand, right? Well, it's always nice to expand your lands. It's not always nice when you expand, because if you gain weight, that's not really cool. Tari does capitulate it. Very good. Don't know why we control Smolsk, but that's okay with me. We must destroy communism. And their stockpile of weapons. And do they have a lot? Well, let's see. Armored cars, motorized infantry equipment. It's not bad, but they're slow, slowly going to be losing it. Because we have way a ton. Just tons of that stuff. Come on, if we keep attacking, they probably won't be able to do much against us. Is Germany going to invade these guys? Probably not. That's okay. Well, we're definitely pushing. Ottoman state, good. Ottoman state, good. Very, very, very good. Another division, another tank, cool. How strong is the Union of Britain? I can't imagine them being that strong. 4 to 26 divisions, 3 to 4 million manpower, it is what it is. Uh, we're getting close to Tsaritsyn, nice. Have we taken St. Petersburg yet? Yes, we have, we have Petrograd. Petrograd is ours. I'm really just waiting for someone to get upgraded. I don't know why Serbia <clears throat> popped out. Doesn't make any sense. They were fully defeated. I love how big Bulgaria is, though. Beautiful. Now, we're not winning in a lot of locations right now, but that's okay. Nice. Beat him up. Good. 
Sorry, it's in. It's almost ours. Gotta get over the this, this river to get to that river. Okay, good. Yeah, I have a good feeling these guys have more than enough manpower. Let's see. Never mind! Never mind! They are out of manpower. Huh. 51 to 62 factories. That is not very much. They have less than 110 divisions than what they had earlier. They're slowly running out of guns. Infantry equipment. Very good. In this template that they have, no intel requires army intel 80%. Okay, that makes sense. Good, good, good. Stockpile-wise. Oh, it's not good for them. Even though it's probably not good for us either. We still have enough equipment and men to pummel the enemy. And we've got some pretty good veterans. Hey, it's in. Man, they really don't they really don't want us to have it, do they? But that's okay. Moscow is almost a frontline city as well. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. Definitely pushing harshly. Good. Nice little encirclement. Peace conference is over. White Peace Poland. Poland. What the heck? Why did you... How did you do White Peace? You're still in the Reich's Pact. You expanded a little bit, which makes your borders honestly exceedingly ugly. Holy cow, that's ugly. Hmm. Chewing does have claims on this territory. Whatever. Uh, which, what are we going to get first? Moscow? Or Tsaritsyn? I think Tsaritsyn. Yeah, we took Tsaritsyn first. The fall of Moscow. Barbarians, they set it on fire again. Has been taken by the enemy's armies. Well, I don't call ourselves enemies. But whatever. But we can't really see. Navy initiative. Wait, what is that? Hungary? Oh, Union Britain. Oh, okay, that was Hungary. Serbia, of course. Yeah. Oh, they have strikes. That's good to see. That's very good. They're out of manpower. But I was, like I was trying to say, we can't really see how close they are to capitulating. They're completely out of guns, though. So they're pretty much done. Got a couple airships, maybe a few armored cars here and there, but they are pretty much goners. Oh, yeah, someone got upgraded. Nice. Oh, that'll help out a little bit. Good. Infantry equipment 3 makes ourselves even stronger. Support equipment 6. Sure, why not? Oh, we need logistics. Did I get logistic companies yet? I did. Did I throw them on here yet? I have not. Uh, how much do we not have? Oh, we got plenty. Good. That'll help out. Go around these guys as well. Now it's gone down to 21,000 to something else. Doesn't matter. We have enough. 40 combat with. Make sure these guys have logistic companies as well. These are thick Italian. These aren't. I would not call these really thick Italians. What have, what have I been doing? Yeah, Poland's back. And. Cool. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Pretty darn well. Uh, come on. Uh, they sh oh, I wish we could see how close they would be. Close they would be to capitulating. I mean, they have less than 100 divisions. Oh, yeah, they're, they might be doing last stand, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Keep it up, guys. You're doing well. You're doing great. Well, we'll call it an episode once we take this, the NN. The NN. Go ahead, get over there. We'll call it a campaign, too. Nice. But it is kind of... Oh, these guys held off for quite a long time. But when they get cut off, they can't really do much. But it was kind of nice doing like this. Less than 90 divisions now. Very good. Very good. No manpower. Probably less than 50 factories in total. Awesome. Very awesome. Tanks aren't looking so good right now. <laughs> Some of them are looking exceedingly weak. Wow. Just delete that division. Yeah, tanks. Maybe not the best one to use. Tanks in this mod, really not great. Come on, break over. Come on, they're just they're just men. Probably not super educated. They're probably just from the rural countryside. They don't want to do too much. Just want to live in peace. 
Well, we won't let them. Come on. Come on. Good. They're done. Come on. Just take it. I just want that one goddamn province. Oil processing. Nice. Uh, let's see. Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? And keep looking at their supplies. They don't have any. Less than 80 divisions now. And they have 15 manpower left. Beautiful. Ostracon. Come on. Take it. Take it. If you can. Supplies are so bad. Oh. Anything for you guys, and probably nothing else for them. Cool, whatever. Uh oh. oh. I'm out of cannons, that's not good. Hard cannons, artillery. Uh, because of their low strength, you should be able to break over and do that. Come on. You guys probably wouldn't be able to win there. That's okay. Fighting in Russia really sucks. And I kind of understand why they haven't capitulated yet, but at the same time... Please just capitulate. Please. Oh my goodness, come on. Good. Take the second capital, then we'll call it a campaign. more attack. Oh yeah, now it's dropping. Slowly dropping. Boom, we got the capital. Cool. But I guess that's pretty much where we're going to leave this campaign, because we could keep doing this, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, we could take Liverpool, but this video's gone long enough. You know what's going to happen. Capitulate them, and not much, is, not much else is going to happen. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great... Rest of your day.